but it's like I see it but it's like am I ignoring it like every time I touch my hair it's like broken off hair and a broken off hair is split ends <music> Hey y'all, it's me, that girl Danny. Um, I'm coming to you with an unplanned video. Oh my gosh, I'm still in my pajamas. It's Sunday, it's like 3.40 in the afternoon. Anyway, I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but I did a flat twist out. I wore the flat twist for a while. And then I finally did a twist out on yesterday. And as you can see, the twist out didn't hold up um, and the reason for that I know is the ends of my hair are like it's, it's like in really really bad shape the ends of my hair is in really bad shape so I was like well since my hair is stretched from this twist out right I'm just gonna do two strand twists so that's what these are mini two strand twists um and to you, this may seem like, okay, she yeah, she doing two strand twist, but as I'm two strand twisting my hair, like I realize I'm not using a comb and I realize as I rub the product in, like several pieces of like just broken off hair is just on my fingers and I constantly have to wipe my hands and get the broken hair off um, to complete the flat twist and like for example, this is the last one I just did, and you can see how it's thick. Well, it's not thick, but it's full, and then at the bottom it go, it tapers off, and like that middle section between the twist being one size and it tapering off to being another size is a lot of broken off hair in there, and like so as I'm gliding my finger down. I'm getting I like the broken off hair is like coming in my hand like a full twist and then it just tapers off into like a string a couple strings of hair and um it's two things my hair is growing in and I know I look a mess but um my hair is growing in thicker and this is heat damage as well as this part of my hair is breaking off is broken off is breaking off um it's funny because hair products can really deceive you like this looks like juicy twists because of the products i'm using but my hair is really really damaged like i'm just i just did you saw what i just did like that anyway i was saying that as i even touch my hair it's just like several little pieces a broken off hair is and I'm going to show you a little bit better and you guys probably see it right you guys see it too but it's like I see it but it's like am I ignoring it like every time I touch my hair it's like broken off hair and a broken off hair is split ends and um when I flat iron my hair before um I, when I look, it wasn't when I did it, but when I look back at the footage, I saw that my hair was like, ooh, it was cringy. And then I had that big hole in the back, and I'll put up a picture for reference, but I had a big hole, gap in the back. And it's like, at that point, that was back in January, and this is April. At that point is when I should have cut all of it off up until where that gap is. Because now I feel like I have three and a half, um almost four months of my hair just continue to break and um split is continue to split up the shaft of my hair um that's what i feel the ends of my hair feel like trash like this is my hair and you can see straight through it i got you guys propped up but like i i know look this is a piece of hair my nerves are like so bad right now because it took me to do these two strand twists to realize how bad it is. Like, look, my hair is thick and growing thick out the roots. 
but these ends are like you can compl are completely see through like you can see my shower curtain and like there's like all of this completely see through you can't see through this and it's the same amount of hair you can't see through this but you can see through this and er I'm like everything in me is saying to just cut it off I'm realizing like how bad it is like look at this where is the healthy hair and it's twists it's way up here then it does like this little helix effect that's partly to do with the products I'm using it's kind of like a curl defining thing but all the rest of this down here is like no good and I've cut a lot of my hair off recently but now like this was supposed to be my journey to grow it longer but look it's like thick and then it does this little helix thing and then it goes straight straight and frizzy and like look at that that needs to be cut off it's stringy that's not my hair pattern like this stringy stuff that's not me <laughs> that's not my curl pattern look at that it's just dead it's barely hanging on and then me just touching that i just got just hair crumbs <laughs> on my fingers should I even continue to put these two strand twists in? The only reason why I'm not reaching for the scissors is that, look, hair. This isn't shed hair. I know when my hair, this is one shed hair. The rest of this is hair crumbs, which is broken off hair. And, I don't know y'all, like that's just so gross. It's like, my hair will continue my hair like any style I do that's not a protective style is going to look trash you know why because the ends of my hair are literally trash look hair crumbs hair crumbs <sighs> it's like what I'm trying to say is my hair is not damaged equally damaged all around like this front part is always damaged the worst but you can see where it's thicker and then where it's thinner. I feel like uh, my hair is exiting the stage where it's constantly falling out. Like all my bald spots that I've been showing you guys is growing in. My hair is growing in thicker from the root. So because my hair is headed in a good direction, I'm still going through shedding. But my hair always did shed. But am I confused in shedding? with breaking off or my hair is shedding but the it's breaking off too so i actually still have my last ball of hair like this ball of hair is long strands and it's probably several short strands too i'm assuming but like i, I hope i could find a picture from when my hair did the twist out I may have it. I know my husband took a picture. I remember not liking my hair because the ends of my hair was looking crazy. But it's like everything in me just wants to go. Psh. Okay, I'm, I'm about to wrap this up. My question is, I'm going to give y'all time to answer it because I'm posting this tomorrow. Today is Sunday, April, whatever. It's, it's the, uh, what is it? The 9th, 10th? Today is Sunday. So when you see this tomorrow, comment below. Should I cut all my hair off or continue with these two strand twists? And until y'all answer me, I'm gonna put on this bonnet. <laughs> until y'all answer me, I'm gonna have this bonnet on. And for y'all who say go to a professional get it to get it cut, just know if y'all say cut it, I'm doing it myself. Probably gonna get some better scissors, but I'll do it myself. So yeah. Just assume that I waited for y'all to answer and, and this video is going up today. So let me know. What do y'all think I should do? Should I continue? I'm talking about to, like right now, this week. Should I continue with these twists or should I just wash my hair and big chop? Let me know down below.